Welcome everybody to our moon part two. This is video number 83. So let's talk about the moon's atmosphere. It has very little to no atmosphere. What little it has is made up of helium and argon, and those are both gases, of course. And notice there that there's no oxygen and no air. That's why you always see your astronauts with um, helmets and shields because they need to pipe in the oxygen to breathe. All right, let's talk about temperature. So if you wanted to go out and live uh, on the moon, you guys wouldn't even like it. You don't even like it when I keep my classroom cold. But it varies a lot due to the small atmosphere to trap the heat. So if you're in the direct sunlight, you're going to be 250 degrees. That's really stinking hot. Remember, water boils at 100. And then at the nighttime, where there's no sun, you can get up to negative 270. And remember when we had it was about negative 10 this winter? Yeah, think of negative 270. So let's talk about gravity. Well, yes, there is gravity on the moon. However, it is very, very weak. It's about 15% of Earth's. And the picture here I'm showing you is actually, if you ever have a chance to see some real footage, you'll see the astronauts actually like hopping on the moon. And that's because there isn't a lot of gravity. All right, let's talk about the moon and water. So remember I told you that there is no liquid water on the moon, right? Remember I said underline that word liquid except it has ice, which is solid, at the poles, so north and south. There is no sunlight that goes there. It's very indirect, so it actually would never heat up um, for it to turn into or melt into water. So the water can stay frozen, and if it is frozen, much like the rocks that are on the surface, <laughs> You can hear the kittens, they're playing, they're running up the stairs. Um, much like the water can stay frozen, that's why, because it's in a solid state. All right, I want you to enjoy this video clip from NASA. One of the youngest large-scale impacts on the moon is the Tycho Crater. This fresh crater may have formed only 108 million years ago, when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. We now also have an extreme close-up view of the crater's central peak, revealing a mountain with sharp edges, building-sized rocks, and a central boulder about the size of a baseball stadium. Next, we arrive at Mare Serenitatis on the near side of the moon. In December of 1972, the crew of Apollo 17 landed in the taurus Litro Valley, marking the last time humans have visited the surface of the moon. With images from LRO's narrow-angle camera, we can clearly see the evidence of that visit. In this image, you can easily see the base of the lunar lander, along with the lunar rover, parked far from the blast-off zone. You can also clearly see the astronaut trails and the wheel tracks left on the lunar surface. I right, hope you enjoyed that. So let's talk about a quick summary here. So I'd like you to list 10 facts about our moon. And the other thing I really would like to know, I'd like you to answer my question here. What information was new um, or most interesting for you? I know a lot of you guys, this is going to be the first time that you're actually studying the moon. So I'd love to hear about it. Hope you enjoy the funny. See you in class.